Jet setting around the world can be exhausting sometimes, but it's always interesting. And here at the Blue Lagoon, we're full of surprises. turned up at the Blue Lagoon, and the weather sucks today. The Blue Lagoon is the number one tourist destination in all of Iceland. The geothermal hot spring which supplies it is reported to have numerous health benefits. But if that doesn't do it for you, then there's a swim up bar. And we upgraded to the comfort pack. Comfort pack. For an extra 15 euros, and they give you these nifty little algae face masks, and you also get a drink. And... Our infatuation with wild Icelandic landscapes leads us up to the remote Vatsnes Peninsula, where we decided to immerse ourselves in nature for a couple. We found a super cool waterfall over here. I won't even attempt to butcher the pronunciation, and I'm wearing shorts because all of my laundry is extremely dirty. Iceland is globally renowned for its stunning natural scenery. But due to the difficult language barrier and the large surface area, it's best to go with a knowledgeable local or a tour guide. Good morning. It's dark, it's cold, it's beautiful, and it feels early. But actually, it's close to about 9 a.m. here, and the sun hasn't risen, as you see. We're staying here in an empty hotel on the northern coast of Iceland, and we've got this entire place to ourselves. I'm gonna get up close and personal with this thing here. And to do that, I have to cross some knee-deep, freezing water. I'm standing inside of an old Viking fort in the north of Iceland right now. It's called Bjorka Verki. Bjorka Verki is a thousand-year-old Viking ruin. It's the scene of one of the most famous sagas in Iceland, whereby an individual remained up there throughout the winter to thwart those who were attempting to murder him. We're gonna go check out some wild Icelandic horses on the property right now. We've got our minions with us. The area surrounding the Borkavirki Hotel was full of wild horses. We thoroughly enjoyed checking them out and even had some up close and personal time with them. Hey, this guy looks familiar. I've seen him somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, we learned that all Icelandic horses have a microchip in them so that the owners are able to track theirs. It's pretty sci fi for uh, a bunch of horseplay. <laughs> What's the weirdest food you've ever had? But now we definitely have a front runner to answer that question, and that is Hakarl. Hakarl. A block like this, <laughs> we chop a small piece off. Kristur and Rudy have offered us some fermented Icelandic shark, which is a traditional food here. Yeah, it's rotten shark. This particular kind of shark doesn't pee, so it keeps all that ammonia in its body, and then you eat it. Uh, I haven't smelled anything like that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> They did give us a little bit of Brennavin, which is a local liquor, to wash it down with. It's the best part of the whole thing. Let's go for it. And then this one too. Alright. Not bad! Really? <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, it's horrible. But, not to be outdone, there's also this thing called... Sheep's head jam. And it's made from the facial muscles and the sinews and they put them together and put on a slab and then eat it. Sheep's head. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sheep's had jelly, right? <laughs> That's terrible. Who the folk literally translated means hidden people. And it's the Icelandic elf culture that has existed here since time immemorial. The grass all around this rock hasn't been cut. If you look at the rest of the farm here, everything is manicured and neatly maintained. And here we have further evidence of the eccentricity of the Icelander. We're on top of a mountain in the middle of nowhere, and we've stumbled upon not one, not two, but three rock piles that were very deliberately stacked, possibly by the Hulda folk. We can't know for sure. Last night, this random guy just shows up and he has to use the bathroom, which is of course fine, and we think nothing of it. And then 24 hours later today, he comes back and he wants to use the phone, which is a little odd. We're like, okay. 
and he's just shown up again, and he's invited us to his house for dinner, which is nearby on an abandoned farm. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna go with him. <laughs> Can't always get what you want. And if you try something, this here. Uh huh. We heard about this volcano that exploded a couple of years ago in the south of Iceland, right? And all the planes had to stop. What's the name of that volcano? What about when I sneeze? What do you say? Oh, hey there! We just got dropped off in Reykjavik city center at the bus station. And now we are being total tourists. We're disoriented, trying to figure out where our hotel is. We're in the city center of downtown Reykjavik today. It's totally empty, but it's actually about nine o'clock. Right here is our hotel for the night, city center hotel. Before dipping out of Iceland, we had to hit up a local legend, the Lebowski Bar. Centrally located, if you're a dudist or really just appreciate a good white Russian, this place should definitely be a priority during your time in Reykjavik. To those who abide. 